is up everyone all right welcome back to another video on the pointless youtube channel and listen we have a very very interesting dark and uh honestly confusing story today because a cold-blooded all right a kid who ended up taking the life of a 24 year old and her daughter has been sentenced to 24 years and tiktok has decided to you know simp for this guy literally saying he doesn't deserve what's happened it's literally all a huge mistake it was an accident and uh well we'll get more into it uh towards the end of the video so she'll make sure to stay to the end it's disturbing now before you do if you guys don't mind subscribe to the channel all right because i make a lot of videos on very very screwed up topics like this uh, on stuff that happens with a lot of very very disturbing tiktok trends i have an entire play playlist about it on my channel so make sure to stick st so make sure to stick around because it honestly gets insane it's literally wild uh this this entire story is insane so uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it now a guy that goes by the name of cameron heron ended up you know doing something very very bad and i'll elaborate now if you guys know anything about cars you know that people like to race cars all right and i'm not talking about legally you know nascar racing no people like to illegally street race cars because they're extremely fast some people use it as a way of getting money to take care of themselves which keep in mind i'm not condoning any of this all right i don't condone street racing illegally I, I don't i do not condone any of that at all but yes it is indeed true that some people do enjoy and get a rush out of street racing and some people do it for money and cameron heron is one of those very very immature and stupid people who like to take it upon themselves to put hundreds if not thousands of people you see every day in danger sometimes going all the way up to 100 miles per hour on a literal street race with multiple cars now you may be asking all right he put people in danger it's terrible uh he should be sent to jail for a bit because you know he was illegally street racing possibly putting people in danger all right end it there but it's just not that simple because cameron heron ended up taking the life of a 24 year old and her daughter because he was illegally street racing now we'll shortly check out an article about this entire situation so make sure to stick to the end of the video because uh yeah you're gonna want to hear about that but before we do all that i want you to keep two things in mind this man took the life of not only a daughter and a mother he completely broke a family apart causing trauma and pain that just cannot be described due to his irresponsible action now with all that being said you would think all right well yeah everybody will want this man to be locked up and while a majority of us do he ended up getting 24 years in prison due to his crime but the absolutely insane users of tiktok.com decided to take it upon themselves to start a petition to get him taken out of jail because not only they think he's too hot for prison but because they think he made a mistake that he can learn from in the future all right now listen to how stupid that sound this guy who was literally warned by multiple people around him and the police to stop street racing continued to street race and ended up taking two lives a mother and a daughter and people think he deserves to be free now people were and still are making tons of fan cams for this guy i kid you not saying that he's so hot and he's so cute and he deserves a second chance he's just so innocent the look in his eyes and they're genuinely changing their profile pictures to his face i'm going to show you guys multiple examples of fan cams that were made about this man uh basically saying that he's hot and you know he, he's innocent and just a heads up i have to turn down the original audio of the tiktoks because if i don't youtube will take this video down but let's see exactly why tiktok believes this man cameron heron who took two innocent lives should be free Let, let's go ahead and check out these fan cams And those, keep in mind, are just two of the many, and I mean many, I mean, I'm talking thousands of fan cams made on this one guy alone, simply because he's hot and people think the look in his eyes was innocent. I'm sorry, but once you take the life of two innocent people, your innocence is gone. I mean, at that point, nobody's really innocent. I mean, like, he's an adult. I'm pretty sure the dude has done some scummy things beforehand. Just based off of the fact that he was illegally street racing, knowing that he was gonna, you know, possibly injure people and himself in the works or the midst of doing that activity so i don't know how people was were ever really looking at him as like innocent when he literally decided to partake in illegal activities that literally put himself in harm's way which is later literally stupid even though i'm not that type of person i could see why he wouldn't care for anybody else but he literally would be possibly losing his own life in the midst of doing this illegal activity so i don't know why he was so open to doing it and while sadly two innocent lovely 
people ended up losing their lives due to this man's stupidity. Now, there was also another TikTok made by a TikToker on the platform who literally didn't really give their opinions on it, but made a summary of why exactly this guy was trending and, you know, the entire story. So I'm going to play that. If you've seen this guy's face, like all over TikTok, here's what's going on. His name's Cameron Heron. He hit and killed a mother and child going over 100 miles an hour during an illegal street race. He was recently sentenced to 24 years in prison. Now, people on the internet and on TikTok specifically think that this punishment's too harsh and that he deserves a second chance. Here are some of the comments. Poor boy, I hope they will forgive him. He looks innocent. He didn't do it on purpose. No, it wasn't an accident. He doesn't deserve that. This one. You're too cute. I fell in love with a criminal. There's a petition going around with over 27,000 signatures to get him out of jail. And there's even people on TikTok using the hashtag imitating his look from the sentencing. Multiple people. So as you can see from that TikTok, we have learned a little bit more about the situation. There are people actually, as well as, you know, literally making fan cam edits of him, impersonating him, and making a challenge dressing as him and his court hearing, basically getting his sentencing. It's mind-blowing. I can't believe this is the point society has reached. But to, you know, still give you guys more understanding as to why exactly this, you know, this situation happened, how it went down, we're going to be reading an article about the entire situation so you guys are educated fully. So Make sure to stay tuned this entire situation this story is so tragic and i just want to say rest in peace to all the parties involved that have lost their life i just want to say uh, rest in peace my condolences but without further ado let's get some more knowledge and learn exactly what happened on this very very tragic day now the exact title of the article is the cameron heron story so far the convicted street racer plans to appeal his 24 year sentence now already the irony of this guy to even appeal something like this you deserve 24 years if not life in my opinion you knew what you were doing you knew exactly what you were doing you know what consequences you'd be facing and you knew exactly what would happen if this street race went wrong and you still decided to do it this guy deserves more than what he has in my opinion the sentence he has wasn't even that big for what he you know ended up doing like he took two lives he tore apart a family for absolutely nothing now the article continues to say according to investigators heron crashed into jessica and lilia as he raced john on bayshore boulevard heron who was close to 60 miles per hour above the speed limit lost control of his vehicle and hit the mother and daughter this piece will detail the cameron heron story and look into the internet campaign asking for his release now hopefully when cameron decides to you know appeal this entire thing that ended up happening the, the judge does not have any mercy on him at all i don't care how innocent the guy looks i don't care about any of that he he did this he deserves to face the consequences it's as simple as that now the article continues by stating cameron also pleaded guilty but his was an open plea that left his sentencing to the court. The defense and prosecution would argue on the appropriate sentence and a judge would make the final decision. The judge in Cameron's case sentenced him to nine years in prison for the first count of vehicular homicide and 15 years for the second count. This crime took two beautiful lives and left four families broken, attorney Andrew Warren said. Now I can't handle talking about this entire situation alone, so I'm gonna go ahead and call up Tag Swag Do You Know talk about the situation and give his opinions and overall give you guys another summary from his end. So uh, yeah, Tag Swag, take it away. So yeah, welcome back everybody. I'm pretty sure at this point we're well aware of the stupidity that takes place on tiktok i'm not even gonna say i'm surprised anymore like i just knew something stupid was gonna happen in the next couple of days that i could possibly make a video on and well it happened look at that so yeah you read the title yes it's true as unfortunate as it is it's true i never thought when i was like fresh out of elementary school or something that shit like this would take place but to my surprise tiktokers are simping over a killer and there were a lot of people making videos about this on TikTok. In this video I found, I think it explains the situation pretty well. If you've seen this guy's face like all over TikTok, here's what's going on. His name's Cameron Heron. He hit and killed a mother and child going over 100 miles an hour during an illegal street race. He was recently sentenced to 24 years in prison. Now people on the internet and on TikTok specifically think that this punishment's too harsh and that he deserves a second chance. Here are some of the comments. Poor boy, I hope they will forgive him. He looks innocent. He didn't do it on purpose. No, it wasn't an accident. He doesn't deserve that. This one. You're too cute. I fell in love with a criminal. There's a petition going around with over 27,000 signatures to get him out of jail. And there's even people on TikTok using the hashtag imitating his look from the sentencing. Multiple people. So yeah, as you can tell from that video, we have so much content to unpack for today. So yeah, as you know from this clip, this guy is a known killer from Florida. I mean, I'm not surprised, but I, I don't know what's going on down in Florida, but I feel bad for whoever's from Florida because there's a lot of dumb shit going on down there. And this guy decided it would be a good idea to do an 100 mile an hour street race. And then of course that leads to terrible things, you know. And now that this guy is possibly going to be sentenced 24 years in jail, now people are like, but, but 
He he deserves a second chance. No, he doesn't. He committed a crime. He has to face the consequences. Do people nowadays not know how this stuff works? You commit a crime, you face the punishment. That's just how it goes. Especially if you take the life of a 24-year-old and her daughter. You're gonna face a long sentence. Especially if you were the idiot that decided to do an 100 mile an hour street race. So now we finally get to the simping part. And I mean, people were going crazy on TikTok. And when I mean people, I mean a a lot of people. I mean, K-pop stands have gone so far to change their profile picture. I don't know, I'll just give an example of a K-pop star from fucking Jungkook to this guy. And I mean, just look at his eyes here. Like, it's creeping me out. I don't know why the hell you would want to change your PFP to that. Like, imagine if I changed my YouTube profile picture to this guy. Like, how many subscribers would I lose? Probably a lot. So I went to this article I found online, and it starts with, who is Cameron Heron? Justice for Cameron. TikTok trend sparks controversy. You can't be serious. There was a whole hashtag made for this dude? Why? Like, I don't understand. Who the hell decided that was a good idea? A number of TikTok users have been rallying to get Cameron Heron's prison sentence reduced through viral po posts. Oh my god, I can't speak. Comparing his sentence to others, However, not everyone is a fan of the cause. And now I'm praying to God that most people aren't a fan of the cause, but some people are really just going crazy with this cause. Like, they want this cause to make a change. Some people even went as far to make a change.org petition and... There was a stan edit of this guy. I'm not even fucking kidding. Here it is. Yeah, what the fuck? Apparently people are standing a killer now. That's the dude that a bunch of TikTokers love. The dude that killed people driving a car 100 miles an hour is the person that they are trying to get out of prison and he deserves a second chance because he's cute to them or whatever. I just can't believe it. Heron ultimately changed his plea and admitted to the crime, but it took until April of 2021 for him to be sentenced by the courts where he ultimately received a 24-year prison sentence. And now, I don't know how the hell prison sentences work, but a lot of people were saying that this guy got a longer sentence that, than somebody who committed a similar crime. But the law is the law. I mean, if he gets a shorter sentence, then he gets a shorter sentence. But for now, this guy's sentence can be up to 24 years. Users across TikTok and Twitter have on separate occasions rallied around Heron's case, demanding his prison sentence to be shortened for a number of different reasons, including the difference in sentences that have been issued to similar crimes. The hashtag has received support from across the globe too. We are Cameron Heron until the end and we will not leave him, said one fan. He deserves a second chance. He's a kind guy with a big and open heart, added another. Wow, a kind and open heart. Do I even have to say anything? You guys know for damn sure that he doesn't. Like, come on. This person acts like they know the guy. Like, they don't f***ing know him. Why does the fact that this guy has a quote-unquote kind and open heart mean he deserves no punishment at all? Like, this guy's gotta pay the time in prison. That's just how it is. A TikTok account bearing Heron's name has also jumped up to almost 2 million followers. Though many doubters have suggested that this is a work of bots and from those attempting to clear his name. So, 2 million people decided to follow this account. Like, I must have read it wrong or something. Like, there's no way. And of course, I just checked again and surprise, surprise, I didn't read it wrong. Two million people followed an account under this guy's name. Also, the account could have been botted. I'm not too sure. But I'm praying that the accounts are bots. I'm just praying. Because I don't know why two million people followed this dude to try and give him, like, a second chance. I don't know. He committed murder. It's one of the worst crimes you could possibly commit. So, of course, he's obviously gonna have a long sentence and I don't think it's gonna be changing. I really don't think so. But if it magically somehow changes, I will be very surprised. So there's a lot of mixed opinions about this whole situation. Here's a screenshot of like what some of the people wrote. He killed two innocent lives, took some happiness from their lives, and you guys still support him because he's handsome. No, he gets what he deserves. God help him. 
He deserves a chance. I'm just very disappointed in the bottom two comments. That's all I'm gonna say. I guess this is just the world we live in now. I wasn't wrong when I said Gen Z is actually insane. Of course, I don't mean everybody in Gen Z, but the people who say a criminal deserves a second chance just because he's handsome. Like, what? So the article ends off with, Heron is unlikely to be bailed anytime soon and will spend a few years yet in prison regardless of the campaign. So yes, I'm glad this campaign is doing jack shit. Thank God. I'm just glad that this man is serving the time that he needs to serve. That's how the country goes. It's not going to change, but um, it could be up to 24 years if that's what the court wants to decide. But I found this post and I just wanted to save it for last because it's just so unbelievably dumb. And of course, this post was shared on Twitter.com. No surprise there. I don't know what's more toxic, Twitter or TikTok. I can't really decide. But regardless, here is what was said about this guy. We won't give up until you get out of prison, Cameron. Globe emoji, fist emoji. Hashtag Cameron Heron. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, listen, you're not gonna get him out of prison anytime soon. The law is gonna stop you. I know, very shocking. I'm making groundbreaking claims here. And I mean, the article did say that he was gonna be in prison for at least a few years, so he is not gonna be released anytime soon. I know Twitter user is gonna decide when this man gets out of jail, so I don't even know why they would try anything. But yeah, they did. But yeah, regardless, Yup, that's TikTok simping for a criminal right there. I honestly can't fucking believe it. But yeah, moral of the story, don't simp for a criminal. I, I can't believe I have to explain that. Thank you, TaxWag, for hopping on the video. This was a completely new style that I, you know, was decided to try for you guys. Uh, talking about some, you know, different stuff besides that vegan teacher face cam stuff. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, very, very sad video, I mean, if you tried to or, you know, found some enjoyment out of this during the, you know, very sad topic, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I love you all. Peace. Very, very sad situation. My condolences to the family involved. This, 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 is, this is sad, man. It's really sad.